Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your uh, first week of March reading start from the 1st through the 7th of March 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So let's see what's coming up for Gemini's for the first week of March starting today. Um, I will be adding charms and I will be adding uh, oracle cards as well so stay tuned. And um, before I get into the reading, like I always say, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So just pick whatever is resonating with you in your situation and leave the rest for personal readings. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. And then you can also check out my sister's channel. Uh, I will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section. And if you like it, do become a part of her YouTube family as well. And... I would like to make an announcement here. I will be starting a new channel along with this one, which is going to be uh, tarot readings in uh, Urdu slash Hindi. Uh, this is going to be for all those people who have been requesting me to start doing, you know, Hindi readings as well. Um, I don't want to, you know, uh, do those readings on this channel because uh, I will keep it the way it is right now. I will be doing the readings the way I have been doing on this channel. But along with this, I will be having another channel where I will be uploading the Urdu and Hindi readings as well. Urdu slash Hindi readings as well. On this, on that channel, I will be talking about different topics as well. Uh, again, all will be in Urdu slash Hindi. So yeah, stay tuned for that as well. I will be starting that channel around my birthday time, which is 16th March, uh, which is on the 16th of March. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, let's get into the reading now. Let's find out what is coming up for the Gemini's for this week time, which has already started. Um, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me pick up that card. Yep, it was Eight of Wands, but I'm not going to include this card because uh, it was upside down. And I usually don't do that. I don't read the uh, reversals. So, yeah. But for some of you, communication could be the issue this, uh, this week time, like, you know, the first week of March. The communication could be an issue or you might be waiting for some communication but it might not you know come through um if if it applies to um if you are seeking some sort of growth right now that too might be away from you right now uh in the first week of uh, march but like i said you know even if there is like you know if, even if you don't see any growth in the first week of march still doing what you are doing still you know uh Keeping yourself motivating, uh, keep yourself motivated that everything is going to fall into place. Everything will work out. Everything will be good for you. So if you continue saying the positive things to yourself, things will eventually start happening for you as well. So don't lose hope. Don't give up. Continue moving forward, doing what you are doing. Keep investing your time and energy into it and everything will be fine. You will start seeing the growth as you move towards the next week maybe. But uh, don't, don't lose hope. Stay hopeful. Everything will be fine. So yeah, let's see what else is coming up for the Gemini's for the first week of March 2020. Let's begin. Queen of Swords. You really need to be clear in your head what do you want and just keep your focus onto that. Um, like I said, even if something doesn't show, uh, like you know, if something doesn't feel like you know it's going in the right direction, know where you want it to go, and that is it. Like you know, that's gonna um, change situations on its own. If you stay focused, that that is all that you need right now. If you stay focused, if you stay, um, you know, uh, motivated, everything will be good for you. Don't lose hope. Don't lose your focus or your vision that you have for yourself. Because if you do that, then it will be an issue. If you don't lose hope, if you don't give up, things will work out for you. Don't don't um, don't be upset. Don't be stressed. If things are not working this week, things will work out eventually. Just just be hopeful. Do have nine of pentacles wow for some of you you might be having some sort of communication around your work zone um you might be talking to different people if you are looking for a job again if you are talking to different people and if, if nothing is working out for you don't give up hope do you know stay motivated like i said continue moving forward do keep applying everything will work out for you um know what you want to do and continue moving towards you know in that particular direction and that is all that that you need to do right now then you do have the death pair of web ten of swords let's take one more card
I feel like, you know, there is some sort of change that you're going to experience in the second part of the week, like, you know, the second half of the week. Something's going to change for you. Uh, for some of you, you might be leaving a job. For others of you, you might be, you might have already left a job and now you're experiencing that change that's going to happen for you. Um... But if you are leaving a job or uh, leaving a situation in the in the first week of uh, March, know that it's opening new horizons for you, which is definitely going to bring you a lot of happiness in your life. Um, for some of you, I feel like, you know, the, the change that you're going to experience in the second half of the week is going to bring you um, some good news in your love life. It would be different for different people. For some of you, if for those of you who are single, you might meet the right one for you. Uh, if you are in already a committed relationship, maybe something that's going to end is going to bring you uh, happiness in your in your love life. Maybe you are ending a job and then you are moving in together, you know, with your partner and, you know, uh, maybe you're going to find another job over there. So it's like, you know, whatever that's going to end, it's going to bring you some happiness, some good news. Because whatever that you are doing or whatever that is, you know, happening in your life right now, which is going to change and which is going to end is going to be so good for you because that has made you... Uh, uh, that has made you suffer, whatever that you were doing. Um, and now what's going to change for you is going to be something which is going to help you become the better, the better version of yourself, which is going to bring you happiness, which is going to bring you the confidence in yourself and your abilities as well. And I do see that changing your love life too in one way or the other. Underneath the deck, you do have Knight of Cups. Underneath that, you do have King of Wands. Underneath that, you do have Ace of Cups. Yeah, something is going to change for you. Uh, a change of uh, job or location can bring you uh, good news in your love life. Um, let's take some clarifiers for this card here. Uh, the Death and the Ten of Swords. Let's find out what, is, what, it, is, what it is all about. A change is good for you. Whatever change that you're going to experience in the second uh, half of the week is going to be good for you. I feel like for some of you, you are going to have somebody coming forward towards you, leaving the past behind and having the, you know, a reunion of some kind. Um, but it will be your sole decision whether you want to go for this person again or whether you want to give this person another chance or not. If this, if this person has brought you any sort of distress or if this person has brought you any sort of, you know, sleepless nights, I feel like, you know, you are going to take your due time to decide on this person because you will not be ready to give this person a chance there and then. If this person reaches out to you, if that's the change that's coming your way in the second half of the week, I feel like, you know, you are going to... Um, you are going to test this person before you say yes to their proposal or before you give them a chance uh, there and then. Um, I feel like, you know, this person or this love offer that's going to come your way uh, with a same person from your past, it's, it's going to be... Um, it's going to come out of nowhere. Like, you know, uh, you will not be expecting it to happen. But... Um, You might have waited for this person, but now you are not waiting for this person any longer. You are you are going with the with the with your uh with your inner calling. You are doing what you need to do, and you're focused on doing your you know doing uh the things that that will bring you happiness, that will bring you stability, that will bring you joy, of uh, you know uh following your passion, following your love, following your uh you know whatever it is that you wanted to do wanted to do and i feel like you know that's the time when this person is going to you know um make a comeback in your life and uh but i don't think like you know uh i don't pick up that energy that you are ready to accept their offer this time around let's find out For some of you, you might. Like I said, you are going to test this person before you say yes to this person again. Let's take uh, some oracle cards. Let's find out what it has to add to the reading.
if you recently ended a relationship, I feel like, you know, that person is going to make a comeback. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Um, if this person is coming back from your past, I feel like, you know, you are going to have an open communication, open conversation with this person where this person is going to, um, uh, reveal the reason behind why they did a certain thing to you or to this relationship. That's going to help you have this person come back in your life. That's going to help you ease or release the you know, ease the situation and release the past and give this person another chance is what I'm picking up. Let's take cards for those of you who are completely single and who want somebody new in their life and do, who don't want to give a chance to this person from their past. Let's find out what is coming up for the singles out there. What is coming up for the singles out there? What is coming up for the singles out there? Wow, a new offer is coming your way. But I feel like for those of you who are having a new person coming in your life as well, I feel like, you know, your ex is also going to come back. There is somebody from your past coming back because you do have two of swords underneath the deck and underneath that you do have somebody coming back who is the king of swords and again. So you will be reluctant to talk to this person. But I feel like, you know, you might still give this person another chance. Wow, same energy is coming twice. So let's... So, um, let's see how it goes for you for this week time. Let's pull some more cards from this uh, Oracle deck. Let's find out what else it has to add to the reading. So somebody's having, um, you know, uh, maybe for some of you, you are not ready to give this person a chance because you have somebody else already in your life. For others of you, you, uh, you might test this person before you say yes to this person. And now uh, for those of you who, who believe they are completely single, you still have an ex coming back along with somebody new. So, yeah, love and peace. Um, let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. For some of you, I feel like, you know, you have already healed or you will be healed before you meet this person or you have you before you have this, uh, you know, these offers coming in your life. Um, For some of you, I feel like, you know, this energy that I picked up for the second half uh, of the week, you might experience this energy as you move into the second week because uh, for some of you, you really have to heal yourself first. And you you would do that being by being in the moment and focused on being focused on yourself and what you like, what you don't like and what you what you really want from your life. It's it's again like, you know, envisioning yourself and, you know, becoming your best version would be the first thing that you would be doing. And after that, you will have this person coming back along with this new person as well. So that's what I'm picking up. Let's see one more card and then we will take chance. Let's find out what else do we see for you for this week time. Okay. Ten of emotion. Life is a blessing. You, life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others. You are rewarded with un unconditional love. For some of you, I feel like um, you might be having a. Like I said, you might be you know giving this person another chance by forgiving this person after hearing their story because. For some of you, um, maybe the person has, uh, you know, the reason why they left you or why they backed off or why you backed off or, you know, their energies could be worse for some of you as well. But I feel like, you know, as soon as you have a heart to heart conversation with this person, you are going to reveal the true self uh, to this person or they are going to reveal their true self to you. Um, I feel like you are going to be, you know, it will be very easy for you to forget and forgive this person and... Um, give them another chance for those of you who are having somebody new i feel like you know again that person whoever you are choosing this week time or in the second week of march i feel like you know that person is going to bring you emo emotional fulfillment um this person is going to um you know um bring harmony in your life in one way or the other so uh yeah blessings are heading your way for sure let's take some charms let's find out what the chance has to add to the reading Okay, 
So we do have a B. This could be the name initial of the person that you are dealing with or it could be your own name initial or it could be a letter in their name as well. So you do have a girl, an angel. If you are feminine, you know, if you are a female watching it, I feel like, you know, you will be the best version of yourself um, in this week time. And um, if you are not, then do the things that you need to do to become your best version. Where right? There's nothing negative that you think of yourself. You, you love yourself. You just care uh, for yourself. You just uh, enjoy being yourself. Let me show you this uh, little... Um, girl there it's it's like you know she is somebody who loves her so the way she is carefree happy um filled with love angels are with this person and i feel like you have to be in this zone to have what you are having um or receive what you are going to receive uh, be that in this week or the next week for some of you um then you do have Eight of Pentacles and uh, Nine of Cups and King of Pentacles. Then you do have, just be this person and then relax. Then you don't have to do anything. You, you will have the offers coming in your life. Be that in your work life, be that in your love life. I feel like, you know, as soon as you, as you embrace the new you who loves herself or himself the best way, in the way you are, like, you know, if you, if there has been some, you know, people that, if you have had some people in your life who were, um, who always told you that you, that you, uh, you know, there's something that, that is not good in you. Maybe you, you don't look good. Maybe you are over it. Maybe you are, you know, this and that, whatever they used to tell you. Um, I feel like, you know, you are going to break free from all those negative thoughts or negative uh, comments uh or you know that you received from other people you 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 are just loving yourself the way you are even if you are overweight you love the way you are like you know it's uh i'm not saying that you you uh, that you should you know put on more weight and you know uh, become more chubby or you know stuff like that i'm just saying that you 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 are going to you know even if you are going to lose your weight it's going to be for your own self for your own health it's not going to be for other people because they told you so you are not going to work on yourself you have to love yourself the way you are and then work on the things that you you that you would love to working on yourself for and just go with what your heart is telling you to go for um listen to your intuition uh stay focused uh set yourself some goals which has nobody else in those goals like you know even if you want somebody in your love life heal yourself first become the best version of yourself first before you start manifesting somebody new in your life or somebody from your past in your life because i feel like you know the boost of confidence is required here which is which is something you will get after you work on yourself do that and relax and then you don't have to worry about anything the moment you start boosting your confidence the moment you start loving yourself more and more and more things are going to fall into place for you because for many gemini's out there um i feel like you know the the only block that you might be having in your life is not loving yourself the way you should be loving yourself and letting you know settling in for less always and not you know um acknowledging the fact that you deserve to be loved the way uh any other girl or any other boy deserves to be loved so you really have to um own that you know that you really have to claim the love that you deserve so um once you do that things will start falling into place for you so yeah i wish you all the best for that and um yeah that's pretty much just coming up for you for the first week uh, time if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you are looking to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye